Yeah. The traffic's okay, but we're going to be positive, right? Optimistic. Downtown Cleveland. This is their fourth straight year hosting the NBA mm -hmm. Finals. Trailing two games. This is the biggest game in Cavaliers history. It's going to be a win for the Cavs on their home floor. You all panicked. I stayed positive. Get that on it. Up and under, throws it off the pinboard. Oh, what a perfect pass to himself. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hey, I'm Allison Porter, Get Up producer. Michelle Beadle makes way too much money to do this, so I'm going out to see if Cops fans are confident in their chances of winning game three. Let's go. All right. Confident? I need some confident Cavs fans. I'm looking for some confident Cavs fans. I can't find any. <laughs> I think I found Cleveland's biggest fan. Miles, I need your help asking how confident Cavs fans are because I'm doing a terrible job. Let's do it. On a scale of 1 to 10, how are you feeling today about the Cavs hopefully winning? I think we're going to take it today. Definitely going to take it. 11. How long have you guys been Golden State fans for? So, I'm actually a Miami Heat fan. I'm just hurt. I'm hurt. I don't like LeBron. The way they came out to play tonight, the defense is strong, offense is strong. We put up the numbers. JR might put up 20 tonight. We're going to take it in game three. Now, back to our show. Kevin Durant way outside. Delivers! Oh! Did you, give me, did you hear me saying that before it happens? In the game three, I have to admit, my brother Paul Pierce was right. I was wrong. The gap is like this when you add KD. He came out, put on a classic performance again, and that tips the scale right there. Here's some simple math. Last year, it went five with Kyrie. This year, four and out. Four and out. Four, four, four. 